So we know that uh, once uh, an automobile or car gets old, it goes to the scrap. But what happens to the aircraft when it gets old, especially the passenger vehicle? So um, traditionally, or at least since the conversion uh, program started, an aircraft won't get scrapped, or at least not all of them. Um, they will go into conversion and will gain a new life, which uh, obviously has an impact also on the environment. We are saving uh, the scrapping and all the costs associated to that. Um, what we've seen, unfortunately, in the late years is that due to delays in production by the predominantly, obviously, Airbus and uh, Boeing, is that airlines are keeping those older aircraft and not releasing them to the likes of us for conversion. And as you mentioned uh, about factory-built freighters, so how do you see this converted aircraft? What are their advantages over a factory-built aircraft? So first and foremost, you are giving a second life to, again, a fuselage that otherwise would have gone into metal scrap. Um, so the, there is a, an environmental impact already. Um, secondly, there's, there's the price element, of course. So if you are now looking to buy a new factory freighter, it will cost you such and such. Not to mention that there's a huge queue, obviously, and delays by the, the main um, two providers. Um, with the passenger to freighter, again, you get the advantage of the price and the advantage that today the lead time as long as you can get your hands on a, on a 777-300 in the market, the lead time for the conversion is somewhere between six to eight months. Um, so with that, it, it, you can get the, your hands on, a, on an air, operative aircraft much, much quicker.